So the thing about a lot of these shorts that they loop, but just listen to this. Always a valuable exercise to look at a clip of something you find disgusting and use it as a mirror for the parts of yourself that you might hate. For example, check out this video. Given the fact that the University of California is founded on colonialism, it's inherently a violent institution. Now, in watching this, I get angry because she doesn't pay any respect to colonialism in regards to its efforts and its willingness to use violence to craft the modern world. And she doesn't have the first clue on how to wield violence to her advantage. And as a result, she's forced to pretend that deleting violence from society is somehow good or even possible, which it isn't. Now, the reason all this makes me angry is because I myself, as a man, have no idea how to actually wield violence to my advantage. And that makes me feel weak and makes me feel scared. Do you see what I mean when I use the word mirror? The next time you see a clip that makes your blood boil, identify what it is about that video that you hate and simply try using it as a mirror on yourself. The treasures you uncover by doing this difficult work will be priceless in your development towards becoming the person that you are meant to become. It's so what I got out of that video was that, uh, you know, that short video. Um, they love to make short videos like this. That's what gets the most views compared to full length videos. People, um, and, you know, have a tendency to talk about a subject and get angry about it and want to do something about it. These activists, there's too damn many of them in America. There's too many protests. There's too many uh, fighting for rights that are not theirs. Look at all the Islam and the Islam protests about the, I don't know what it is, uh, something about the, uh, the, the war that's going on. You know, there were some protesters on the Golden Gate Bridge about a month ago, and uh, if I if I look at it correctly, you know, um, that the is like, you know, that's all we do. You know, um, that's all we ever do here in America is is we protest about things that are not our business. Now I know, I know how people feel about it. They feel like. All this emotion because there's really nothing that they can do. You know, uh, that protest on the Golden Gate Bridge, it, it's like it stops traffic and it it just hinders people. You know, uh, so here's what I hear. It's, it, this is NBC News. And uh, Gaza war protesters shut down. Bridge block traffic in other cities. So the Golden Gate Bridge it connects, not Oakland. That's the Oakland Bay Bridge. It connects to some other uh, that's a part of the uh, not the peninsula necessarily. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at uh, maps.google because this is what I use for navigation purposes, just to get to work and to get to stores and including movie theaters. And if I just look at the Golden Gate Bridge, you know. And I've walked this bridge twice. It's, it's magnificent. I love taking photos of it. Who does it? It is the number one tourist site here in San Francisco. So it's a Golden Gate Bridge. You can see it has even good pictures. Red, you know, see the beams and the everything connected. So this is San Francisco, right? Let's get out of this real quick. This is San Francisco right here, San Francisco. And never mind all my little bookmarked uh, uh sites that I like to use to find things quicker. You've got this area. It doesn't look like it's really populated much. Golden Gate National Recreation Area. But basically these these two areas connected via this bridge, right? And you've got people that go to Walk Hill and who live around here. And um the point I'm making is is protesters about a month ago, or when, when did it say that it happened? Uh, cars were stopped and chains were blocked and lanes. Protesters also blocked traffic in Chicago, New York City, and Seattle. It's always major cities, big metropolitan cities. So, this last event or incident happened. You got 20 people that were arrested. Uh, the war in Gaza. Yeah. And I don't really look, I keep up with it. Any, I don't keep up with all the wars and shit, but. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where it happened. Well, here's a video, so. Tonight, the pressure is mounting on the Biden administration over the war in Gaza. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters today block traffic on New York's Brooklyn Bridge with several arrests. Oh, good. Police say protesters near Chicago's O'Hare International Airport today substantially delayed travelers. And on San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, multiple arrests after protesters snarled traffic there for hours. The demonstrations come as President Biden touts what he calls an unprecedented military effort to defend Israel. Together with our partners, we defeated that attack. 
In the Oval Office today, he met with Iraq's Prime Minister as he tries to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East. We're committed to a ceasefire that will bring the hostages home and preventing conflict from spreading beyond what it already has. The president spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this week in fi- so That happened well for you like a month or so ago, and um, it, it, what I'm saying is, is things like that. It's just too, it's just wrong with America today. Way too many people protesting about things that they barely have enough information of. And for me to protest something, I have to, you know, research it. And I know these people, they, they say they research it. If they do, great. But, uh, you know, uh, and I don't know shit about Israel war. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know about this war uh, that, that people are talking about. And, and I'm like, why does America, why does America involve itself in things that are really not our business? You know, uh, it, it, what it, what is the Gaza war here? Go back to Sochi. I hate this little co-pilot thing. Uh, to see to see what the Gaza war is even about, you know, I, I just don't get it. You know, uh, about the Gaza war. Da, 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 da. So so here's the war. I'm just going to use Wikipedia because I know there might not be trusted, you know, for um, <clears throat> as an actual official source, but okay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to say it like this. I don't want to have time to read it. I don't know shit about this war. But I've seen people protesting about it. I've seen the signs. I've seen people camped at, a, I think it was the University of San Francisco or something like that. Golden Gate University or whatever. They were camped right outside. They had little encampments outside on the property of the university because they were protesting and they needed to sleep there or something. But what I'm saying is, is get back on par with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, my, my channel. As I've been looking at Civil War, I love this movie so much, because it's so related to the day's time. And it's not just the cinematography, the sound, and the, the, the amount of realism that A24 and the director, Alex Garland, presents, but it's a key moment in our time. It, it cannot be. It could not have been released in a in, in a more perfect time. The director intentionally released this movie, right when we have issues such as this war that's going on, and people people want to, um, especially people that want to protest the war. They 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 want to talk shit about this movie, say it's how it's so bad, because they're scared. And this movie to me is it's like a revelation, so to speak. It's kind of like you know how the Bible can convict you, it tells you about things that, that you may be wrong with you, you know, even if you're not seeking, you know, God's world, even if you're not trying to find what's wrong with you, if people are afraid to pick up the Bible and read it because they're afraid that it will speak to them and tell them what's wrong, and people hate it when they're corrected, yet those same people that hate being corrected want to correct other people. Now, I've had my own issue with this, how I think I'm right all the time, and then I want to correct other people, but I hate a taste of my own medicine. My dad pointed this out several times. And, and you know, um, a lot of times I am right, but there was still that part of me that wants to listen because my dad did give me some wise advice. And one of the most wisest advice, most, one, of the, one of the most wisest bit of advice he ever gave me was, he said, son, always listen. Even if you know in your heart that you're right, always listen. Even if you know in the heart of hearts that you're right, still listen. Because you may learn something that you didn't, uh, know before just by listening. And that's true because your point may be valid, you may be right, and the other person may be wrong. But listening can still give you some information that you could need later that can help you later. Uh, same thing for the other person. And this is a key aspect of how today people just don't really listen to each other. They just gripe and moan and complain and yell at each other and fight. And, and it's like, you know, it's... It's it's uh people don't want to understand common English or communication, and that's one of the key points that I think could lead to a civil war if we're not careful. Um, I'm not saying I want a civil war to happen. I'm saying along with this movie, I'm giving clear warnings that people people need to be paying attention to, like both visually, auditorily, or you know, hearing, and and uh um mentally they need to think about this. What could possibly cause America to break and divide itself? 